Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe, activate those notifications by clicking on the bell icon below. So time for another drawing tutorial. And I'm a huge fan of Henry Matisse and of the artistic movement Fauvism, which is basically all about bold color expressions, bold strokes, and not too much of capturing the subject realistically, but more about just line color and expression so I, lo I love bright colors and I'm doing this thing where I'm filling up a wall with very small paintings and I had just recently done the Henry Matisse blue nude on a skirt with some blue flames so I thought you know what I think I want that paint for my wall so then I did it and I really like the way it turned out. I think there's something very elegant about the way she's seated and the and the color, I don't know, it makes it almost regal. So I had to create it for my wall of uh, small paintings. So I thought, hey, well maybe I should show you how to draw it. Quick history about Henry Matisse. He was born in France. French artist, obviously born on December 31st, 1869. And he died on November 3rd, 1954. Like I mentioned, he was the lead artist in the of the Fauvism movement. And he created four different blue nudes, as you can see in the photograph. The first one he did was Blue Nude 4, which ironically, it took two weeks to create. Like, it wasn't like one day thing. And it's made up with, you know, small pieces of cut out paper. First one, which is the one you see on your right. I'm sorry, on the left. I don't know my right from my left. The one on your left, that's... Blue Nude 4, and that was the first one in this 4 series. Henry Matisse had a lot of intestinal troubles, he even had a stomach cancer. He was bedridden for a long time actually, so he couldn't be up for too long, so he started doing these cutouts that where he could do from his chair. The one next to the Nude 4, obviously is 3, and then 2, and then 1 is the very last one on your right. So today we're going to do Blue Nude 2, because that's the one I created. And actually it's my favorite one out of all four. I must say I do like the gray in the background of nude four. And obviously we're not gonna do cutouts because I don't feel like it. And I feel like paper fades easy, uh, especially when I think of cutouts I think constru construction paper and I don't like construction paper. And you know what, it would be cool to do with like magazine cutouts, but all blue things for magazines. I should have thought about that, but I didn't. I don't have enough magazines to do anyway. I like it as a little painting, you know? I think, I don't know, there's just something about that form or that shape. It's almost like a contour line of a woman. And also, I, I love the color blue. Get your pencils, your Sharpie. I love Tashin books, they're so informative. This is where I can get most of my information. So in this one, you can see the little pieces of paper versus in the photograph, you can't see it. I mean, I'm not going to show you because you probably won't be able to see it either. Alright, 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 alright. So, because we're going to start with the head, which is kind of like an egg shape. I'm going to use a blue sharpie just because I don't want a black line. So, this is the head. It's almost like egg shape. Or, if you put to parentheses, kind of slanted. But don't touch it because right here, we're going to bring the arm. So you make a little line to separate the arm from the head. Bring it down. This one you can extend all the way because it's like this. All the way to the end. Now we bring it down to make the elbow. Bring this in. I think I made it too geometric. This is a little bit curved. And then bring it out to the bottom. Down. Curve it a little bit because of the chest. It needs to be curved. And then you connect this. So here, I don't know if it's the ponytail, if she's wearing a high pony, or if it's just her hand. But to me, it looks like a ponytail. So you just make ponytail shape. Well, is that a quadrilateral? I wasn't very good at geometry. So you bring another line here, and here for the neck. Bring this up to make her shoulder will be on top of that. And then her arm, 
screen. It's gonna go all the way down, but I don't want to do that yet. Build down as we go, because I don't want to get the line too close or not close enough. So then here we create a nice, uh, like a letter C for the chest, and then you bring it down for abdomen. Here you make another letter C, but make sure it doesn't touch with this one. And then you do it again but inside and then you go up for the armpit and then down for the arm so we're gonna keep bringing this dark I'm gonna bring about to here that way we're on the same level and then also this one so at this point we have four parallel lines now her leg is right here so we're gonna bring this in towards this one. Now this line should meet that one. And it's curved a little bit. So now I'm going to bring these two to this level. But this is like the wrist, so make sure they get... These don't connect. Make sure this one goes in to make it thin for the wrist. Okay. So now, I'm just seating, seated so the line there does not connect it there. And then we're going to take this up to where this one, to where this point is at. But it doesn't meet. Actually, no. You're going to take it all the way up. And then the top of the knee. And then there's a triangle in here. Which I guess... It's the other leg. Now down, down baby, do your thing, do your thing. And then the thigh from here, go up. And then go ahead and bring this down all the way past this line. This is a wrist, but, and then this is a hand. Feet is right here, so another line, doesn't touch. Kind of like an obtuse angle, then bring it in. And then down, and there's like just little lines. Kind of like a W, I guess. Oh, actually, I think I messed that up. It's more like this. Well, I'm going to fill it in, so it doesn't really matter. Make it your own. Take some creative liberties. I just do want to stay a little bit true to the overall shape, because I think, you know, there's an elegance to it that attracts me and that I like. So another line right here. This is the bottom of the leg. Make another one out here. So it doesn't touch. You're gonna go up, out, up, out, down, out, and it should connect to here. So all of this is a negative white space. Everything inside will be blue. Go out again. Up and then around. So this is, it's weird, this leg and then this is one leg. But this is another, but it's connected kind of. And then we have a foot here, which is like a letter U, a sideways letter, no, a sideways letter B. And up and then connect. And there we have it. If I went too fast, just slow me down or pause me. But this is our overall shape. You know, I stayed true to that and legs intertwined thing that I really like. So now I'm going to color it blue. And I think I'm going to add some of the gray to add the original that seated for that. See, I get confused with the number of that. That. Now I can't think. That blue nude forehead. <laughs> the gray in the back. I'm going to add that, kind of like scribbles. That actually reminds me of the work of Sai Twomley. So I wonder if Sai Twomley, let me put you an image here of Sai's work, was inspired by Henry Matisse. I'll have to look that up. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to color it, and then I'll be back. So I retraced the lines with the Sharpie to make them thicker and a little bit neater. And then now I'm going to do the gray scribbles. So I just got some gray charcoal and did some squigglies. Those aren't squigglies, are they? They're swirls. Well, whatever. I just made some marks with 
great charcoal. You can do as many or as little. Take creative liberties. I'm done. I added some blue acrylic paint. I mean, if I would have put this on better quality paper, I would have layered and layered and layered the, the color like I did here. I really like this scribbles. I wish I would have gone with that on this one, but I, well, too late now. But anyway, tell me what you thought about this drawing tutorial. It's very simple, but it's one of my favorite pieces from the artist Henry Matisse. He's actually one of my top 10 artists of all time. His work is something that I always go back to and reference and I'm always constantly looking at his work and referencing his work and, and remaking his work. So yeah, I'm a huge, huge Matisse fan. Well anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe and activate those notifications by clicking on that bell icon. And until next time, that's it. Adios y bye.